So I've been playing a little bit of Clash Royale on the iPhone 6 here and thought I'd go over some some recent victories and draws and, and losses here. Let's go ahead and watch one of these. Now it's a three second or three minute match and in this battle the person I was fighting against seemed to really be interested in in building buildings that generate things. So I go ahead and drop the drop the baby dragon there and then the witch and they've got generators on both sides of the board. So this entire match just turns into things being generated and me attempting to uh, beat it down and then to to destroy the generator. So what ends up happening is I end up wearing down there's my tornado. I dropped a tornado to drag that uh, barbarian or whatever it is back so it couldn't attack that tower there. Now you see the generators that now they have four of them going that are generating monsters that are coming at me. And I end up taking the top right uh, tower here is the one that I end up is the one that I end up taking out. And it's really hard to see with the with the carnage. I've got a, a bomb thrower there, so my bomber is is doing area damage and not a good melee fighter, but is good with that that ranged weapon. Now they've got what is that four generators going on the right hand side there? I've got my my pug dog sleeping off to the right here. You may hear some of his nose sounds and snorting a little bit. So now I got my witch going, and it's impossible to tell what's happening here. I dropped a tornado right there in the middle of everything on those buildings, which maybe I should have done some arrows instead. Um, but now I'm going to drop probably some skeletons into the mess, and then drop the baby dragon on top to to breathe fire on everybody. So the dragons can't be hit by the ground fighters. There he went and uh, they went and froze, kind of froze me. 60 seconds left so at this point double elixir so that means uh, the attacks come uh, more frequently more frequently two generators going on the left there and i think what i do is i make a run at the right i drop a witch i drop a bomb thrower I drop some skeletons they drop a generator i've got to beat down the generator they have another generator the furnace that put the sprites out and then i'm completely wiped out again so it's going to build it up again here so i drop a witch what else do I have? So drop a witch, drop the bomb thrower, just throw skeletons at it as well, probably. And they've got full elixir, so it looks like looks like they could have even put some more some more monsters down. But this is just a, a battle of the wills here. I mean, this is just just so many generators, and now I'm dropping drop a bomb thrower in there, drop it in skeletons. Extra 60 seconds, so it's still technically a draw. Put some arrows. I don't even know what I'm firing arrows at. So I just shot a bunch of arrows, so all my guys move forward after the, the arrow lands. And had that bomb bomb thrower again doing pretty well. And it looks like I fought pretty much up to it and was able to prevail on that one. So that was a match over. So of course, my name there, Lumix uh, DMC GH4, is a, a mirrorless camera from from Panasonic. I've enjoyed shooting on those cameras over the years. So let's take a look at. We already saw one that I won. Let's see one that came up as a draw here. So let's go ahead and watch and see what we are really going for on this one. So I've got the arrows ready there. I've got also the the tornado if I need it. My spear throwing goblins are uh, leveled up, leveled up pretty good. So they're going with the barbarians, and now I'm going to shoot those guys from above, so they can't touch me. They he threw the goblins over here, so they had the goblin barrel, but I knocked them out real quick with uh, my knight. So now I got on the on the field as a knight advancing. I've got the elixir advantage here, and then I'm going to drop a witch as well. So not sure what they dropped, but whatever it was just destroyed my knight. Oh, it's the Valkyrie. So the Valkyrie was hitting both the knight and the witch. So now I dropped the baby dragon to finish it off. And now there is a flying, there's some flying monsters coming towards me, the minions. 
Then I drop my spears to knock out the minions and let's put a bomber behind those those spear throwers. So drop the poison. So the poison that they dropped is is making it hard for me to advance there. So that's why all those guys were just uh, knocked out. And you still hear the pug dog the pug dog snoring in the background. So a goblin barrel is going to be chewing on my my main tower there, and I'm dropping. Drop the baby dragon to knock him out. Now the dragon's not going to go right; it's going left. So that means I got to drop something on the right. Use a ranged. So I got the the spear throwers there, throwing the spears to the barbarians, and then they're using their spear throwers to knock out my dragon. I got a bomb thrower advancing on the right there. So a bomb thrower deals area damage, but not good with melee. But the knight is good with melee, so knight takes to the front to take all the bullets. And then the bomber was supposed to be able to throw at that tower, but the Valkyrie knocked out both the bomber and the knight. So minions flying, minion versus baby dragon. Here comes another barrel of goblins they threw. I dropped my spear throwers right on their barrel of goblins, and they're laughing at me, and he's, he's laughing at me and getting mad over there. He's got the elixir advantage, peaked up at 10, but not dropping anything. So it seems like this person I'm fighting is having a hard time deciding what to drop in next, but this is a real standoff. So this is, nobody's getting anywhere. And as you remember, this ends up being a draw. So that means that no towers are destroyed. Here comes the Valkyrie, Valkyrie's getting hit, but he's too far back, so my dragon's actually getting hit from that tower and killed. So if the dragon would have been further down, would have survived a little longer. So here we go with the knight, here we go with the bomber again, and we'll see we're probably going to go into sudden death here. So we got another 60 seconds of this. So this goes on for another minute. This is just four minutes of standoff. Look, here comes another barrel. So another barrel flies over there. So that was an attempt to, to take some more damage on my main tower. So he dropped the poison again, the exact same thing. So here I have a knight or a, a witch that's advancing. And they just drop that Valkyrie right in the middle of it every time. Knocks out the bomber and the witch. Nope, Bomber's still there, and I have my dragon. So chewing away on this tower a little bit, get a couple bomb throws in, but then the minions drop right on top of the bomber, so the bomber only throws one bomb. My spear throwers get knocked out, now we got all these minions, and I'm going to suck them into the tornado, and here comes the goblin barrel again. So he's just chewing on just chewing on that main tower there with a with with those goblins that are flying flying over. So battle ends in ten seconds, and this one's gonna going to show up as a draw here. So that's a match over there. I think I said wow or or good play or something like that. I can't remember what I ended up, you know, writing back to to that person. So that was a draw. We got a victory in here. We got another victory in here. We got a uh, defeat where I got knocked out. Don't remember too much about about that one. See if we can find another draw here. Here's a defeat. Okay, here's another draw. These seem to be kind of interesting to watch the draws because it's a it's typically a, a good fight. So now I've got the skeleton that can walk forward and drop a big bomb. I start off with a goblin barrel. So a goblin barrel will be little melee guys to chew on that tower, but looks like the the baby dragon knocked him out. So now baby dragon on the right, and then we got the minions coming up the left here. And I'm gonna go with the baby dragon on the left and probably arrows on the right. And arrows, yep. So arrows could have come a little sooner because uh, I got hit by a couple things. Now the poison is going through here and attacking my building. So here is the giant skeleton that's got a big bomb in that bag that it's gotta get all the way up there to drop it near the tower. So I've gotta knock out this guy to get towards that tower I'm inching. I may have made it. Watch the number if it drops. Bam. So that was like 750 uh, points of damage that I did did right there. So they got their baby dragon coming. So maybe do baby dragon versus baby dragon. But my tower is hitting that dragon. So it's in, in range of that tower. So I'm going to win that real quick. And then get the barrel up there. Barrel could have been a little bit closer. So then they got the minions over here coming for that tower. And did the arrows to knock out those minions chewing on the tower up here. Wish I had another barrel to throw up there because that'd be really good damage at that point, but I didn't have any. So this is going to be the tornado pulling everybody back. So you pull them back and then the, the tower can continue to, 
to fire arrows at, at the enemy. So here we come with a Pekka. So that's the what this monster is called right here. So it's a really strong melee fighter. Tough. It's four elixir points to get that knocked it out. I've got my bomber coming, and I need something else to help that bomber get further. So we don't want that bomber to get knocked out immediately. This is a witch. No, this is a magician. So the magician's really going to knock that bomber out quick. Bomber only threw one bomb. So if I go baby dragon versus magician, that's fine. That because the magician can hit both ground or air. So these these arrow guys are going to get knocked out pretty quick here. So somehow I end up losing a tower because this one turns into a this one turns into a draw. So I got one good shot on that tower there with the bomber. So it took like 200 damage. Now he's going to try to to come here and and get my get my tower, but I got it to turn around to kill the things behind it. So if I can draw it off task, or I can suck it up with a tornado to drag it back further, which I don't. Oh, I ended up losing it. So bam, so it drops its bomb there. The bomb is going to blow up, uh, but not hurt my main tower. So, or my, my main castle. So I guess you have the main castle, then you have the, the two towers here. I should have learned all these technical terms before I, I came in and started, started talking through this, right? So I'm going to maybe try a big skeleton to walk forward. I dropped, We dropped them at the same time. So my dragon is just tearing that thing up, slowing it down. I dropped skeletons in there in front of it. He's doing the same thing with mine. Uh, so now I dropped skeletons all over mine. Mine's a goner. And then his marches straight towards my tower, which is going to drop 750 points when it blows up. Uh, but it still has got a lot, of, uh, a lot of power left. So this is 45 seconds, 45 more seconds of this shenanigans. So these draws are ones where where the uh, combatants are pretty pretty closely pretty closely matched, and no one seems to really be 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 getting an edge. So that's what we're seeing here. And I'm going for that tower. It's down to 148 over there. So I tried to drop the tornado on it, but the tornado didn't it didn't affect the building at all. If I would have thrown arrows at it, then this game would have been over. I would have won, but I don't have any arrows coming up over here. So I'm probably going to try arrows up to the top right hand corner. Bam! Drops it down to 67. Still not enough. So still not enough. So I did a tornado over here to suck those guys back. Maybe throw another barrel up there. As soon as the barrel comes, it's over. It's a draw. So that's a close match right there because right at the end you can really uh, uh, lose it. So that was a pretty good that was a pretty good uh, uh, game or battle right there. So there's been some that I've that I've won straight up. There's been some that I've just been uh, just been destroyed quickly on. Typically, if I have if I have three loses in a row, I go back and I I watch how I lost and and what had happened to to work through the technique a little bit and develop my game. So. Here I sit, uh, Lumix DMC dash GH4, and I guess that's my name, and then whatever it is, Arena Six, and I've I spent six dollars on this game, um, so I haven't uh, made a lot of financial investment in it just because that's crazy. But at any rate, thanks for watching. I am on Twitter at P H I L I P G O E T Z.